Hey everyone, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori, and I'm so happy you're here today. Um, I am here with a haul from the Goodwill Outlet and a few items from Savers that I picked up. This is probably going to be my final haul before Christmas. Um, I have a thrifted Christmas video, gifts that I'm giving for Christmas, that will come out tomorrow. And then I also have a video for um, a printer by a company called Full Memo that I am partnering with. So I'm just wrapping up my editing for that. So three videos before Christmas. I was gonna combine my um, thrifted gifts video with this one, but I figured it would be too long because as you know, I can be lengthy in my videos. So. I decided to split it up and give you a video here. So here we go. So, uh, I'm gonna get into the haul. I have a few items to show you from savers that I picked up and then I will show you what I got at the bins. Okay, so how's everyone doing? All right, savers, what should I start with? Savers, the bins. I think I'm gonna start with this. I, I picked this up at savers. I talk about it a little bit tomorrow. I was gonna give it to Angie for Christmas and decided to list it, but it is a vintage Sherpa, um, just oversized. This is a men's large and it like could not be any cozier. I absolutely love it. Um, this piece I picked up, so I think I paid $4 for this and I'm not sure what I'm gonna list it for. I'm thinking like 50-ish and we'll see what it sells for. This item right here I showed on my Instagram account, has no information on it, it is honestly so beautiful. So it's like this chenille sweater. I wanna say that it could be vintage, but these sleeves make me think probably not. But just take a look at this. Um, Laura Von V showed me, um, she inboxed me when she saw this and she showed me a coat that she has listed right now. So I am going to link Laura's um, Instagram account below so that you can see her or check either her Instagram or YouTube or I'll link both but she's phenomenal and she specializes in um, vintage clothing. She is a reseller out in LA and I really love her style and I love watching her. So thank you Laura if you're watching this. I really appreciate your message. Um, hers she thinks is vintage. Anyways this is probably like a size large, medium large. I tried it on and it just kind of like didn't fit me in the right places. Like it felt like it was too snuggy on me. I picture this oversized on a smaller person. It zips down, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is currently listed in my closet for $55. Somebody message me on this. It's so beautiful, I can't even take it. So that was $7.99 plus 20% off. Um, so I got that at um, Savers. I'm just gonna go for my pile because things are not in order. This I picked up at the bins. This is just, you know, this is clearly a little bins pickup. I probably would have passed on it. Um, it's not suede or anything, but it's American Eagle. And it's a style that I like, and I feel like this is a perfect item for people to bundle, like a little fringe purse. So I picked that up. These shoes are really cool. I'm not going in any particular order. I cleaned them up yesterday. Um, Converse, the, the rubber part of Converse, clean up so nice with Magic Eraser. So my boys were both cleaning their sneakers and um, I was cleaning my sneakers and they joined in the fun and cleaned theirs. These are a woman's size five sunflower. Um, I almost didn't pick these up and the comps were really good. I saw a fair amount of these that sold for 30, a pair that sold for 40, definitely some in like the 10 to $20 range, but um, these are cute. They're size five, so they may sit for a while or I could potentially someone pick, see someone picking them up for their daughter um, because it's a smaller size. So I grabbed those. Um, I have had some seriously good luck selling bogs. Um, and I actually put a woman's pair back yesterday because I was trying not to buy a lot right before Christmas, but um, I couldn't pass on these kids pirate bogs. They're really adorable. All the bogs that I pick up at the bins have a lot of wear in general, um, but they always sell. So these are a kid's size 13 and I would say these are like a very like a lightweight bog but I just thought the pattern was so cute and that some little pirate fan would have a lot of fun with those and these have consistently sold my first pair of kids bogs sold for 30 
and my second pair sold for $25. So with the bins, it's kind of like a no-brainer. Um, I picked this denim jacket up. I just bought this for style. It's a size medium by the brand Love Tree. It's just this fun distressed jacket. If you watched my um, haul, my swap with um, Courtney from Common Tags, she sent me a distressed vest that had like a lot of the ripping in the back. This kind of reminded me of that, but with full length sleeves, which I think is really cute. I've been really liking picking up denim lately. So I got that. I got a pair of Danskos. Danskos sell pretty well for me in my closet. These, so you can see where the wear is, this lighting is actually making it look worse, but they kind of have a little bit of like brown mixed in. So potentially some of that maybe is supposed to come through. I'm not sure. But anyways, the rest of them are in good condition and they have kind of this laser cut little floral detail. So um, my dance goes typically sell between 30 and $40. So that's probably what I hope to get for these. If anybody's interested in the size, these are a size 39. I tried these on and they felt big for me. I'm like an eight and a half. They seemed big, but um, anyways picked those up. I picked these up and I don't even know. This is kind of like a, I got these clear shoes. So there was, Zara just had a pair of clear heels that like were selling out and they were hard to find. And I just think these are kind of cool. Like I feel like they're hip without being like too much. Like I feel like when I think of like clear shoes, I picture like six inch stilettos and like huge platform. But I thought these were actually kind of cute. And they have like that more like square toe and like a thicker heel that's kind of fun. I feel like this is for a specific buyer, but if you're looking for like, honestly, like Cinderella, it could be like a Cinderella costume. There's like a little dirt here I have to clean up. These are an eight and a half and I thought they were really cute. So I got those. Um, I was at the bins and I saw somebody holding this up and she saw me looking and she's like, I'm gonna put it back, do you want it? It's free people. And I said, yeah, I love getting free people at the bins. This makes me look like a little Largo, but <laughs> it's really comfy. So I'm going to embrace the 30 pounds it's adding to my frame right now, because it's very comfy. Um, so this is Free People Beach and it is a size small. That's the Free People Beach um, label. And it's just like a cold shoulder dress um, like kind of like a flare, fit and flare sort of a dress. Like it looks like you could do a twirl with this and it would be really pretty. Um, not particularly great for the current season, but um, I love having free people in my closet and it's in gorgeous condition. I've never seen this dress before. So um, I haven't looked up the comps on it, but I'm just guessing like I'll probably list it around $35 and either someone will buy it outright, send me an offer or throw it in a bundle. This cashmere sweater is gorgeous. The brand is called Buttoned Down and I was kind of struggling to find good comps on this because you write button down and you get all button down shirts but this is actually the brand Button Down and it's just a men's, is it, it's a double XL, absolutely beautiful cashmere sweater um, and I really looked it over and over. It's like brand new. I washed it and then I just hung it to dry so it's, I, I would like to steam it out. It will look a little better. There's still a few fuzzies on it but it's actually so gorgeous. Um, so men's extra large. Um, I picked these up because, you know, because I, I like to have a pile of LuLaRoe things that I don't list in my basement. <laughs> but I thought these were fun. I think these are called the Hibiscus Jungle Pants. Um, and I picked these up specifically because they had a tiger. And anything with a special graphic, I think is kind of fun to get. And these were in really good condition. They are like the, the one size fits small people, I think. Like, I don't know if this would fit me and I don't, I think this would go up to like a size eight or 10. I don't think it would fit past that. But anyways, I thought those were cute. LuLaRoe was super comfy. This shirt was potentially a miss, but I kind of thought it was unique. The brand is um, Copperstone and it looked like a really interesting label. So I picked it up. But what I didn't realize when I bought it were these studs. They were missing two here and it was missing a couple on the other side. But I loved the mixed pattern of this. I loved like very Americana. I can picture this like with some cute white shorts in the summer, like half tucked in. Um, I almost picture this on a woman more than a man um, only because, uh, I mean, I guess I can just picture it like oversized and fun. It's a really cute shirt. What size is it? 
it is a size large. So anyways, if anybody knows about this brand or has ever had any luck selling it, the pattern is really adorable. It also has like the snap on the arm that you can roll up the sleeve and snap it. And it has the pearl snaps, which is always kind of a bonus too, instead of buttons, there's the more white than pearl. But anyways, that's always usually a bonus. So it had a lot going for it, even though it was missing a few of those stud details. Hopefully it will still go good. You know, maybe I'll list it for 25 and see what happens with that. Um, sorry, I keep bending awkwardly here. Um, I picked up these boots. Um, I, does anybody watch B. Jones style? I love her stuff. And she's like way more hip than me. And she takes so many risks, but she recently was doing like what I wore in December. And it, she had like a pair of these just like skinny ankle boots with this square toe that is really coming back right now. But these were Tommy Hilfiger. So Tommy is, you know, kind of a hit or miss brand, but I mean, these are in like beautiful condition. And these really remind me of those boots, like people can wear them with like a frayed edge, cropped, um, you know, wide leg or sort of a boot. I don't know, I'm talking in circles, like wear them with cropped frayed jeans would look cute. These are a seven and a half and they are leather and they're like brand new. So I'm gonna see how those go. I'll probably list them between 30 and five and $45 and take some offers. I thought those were really cute. I'm almost done bending over and then I'm just gonna lean. <laughs> um, okay, I picked up this sweatshirt. I do pretty well with um, local Patriots, Red Sox gear. Um, this is a boys tech warm NFL youth apparel. Um, I just recently sold like a Tom Brady jersey. I'll probably list this for like $25 and probably sell it between 15 and 20. Um, thank God the Patriots won yesterday. I've been getting a little nervous. Hold on one second, my family's chatting. And I wanted to show you Lulu's present. I was shopping at the bins and I found this adorable, she's not loving me right now, this adorable um, buffalo plaid little faux Sherpa lined. Lulu, look how cute you look, love bug. She's so not comfortable right now. <laughs> I am not on my comfy chair, so she doesn't want to be here, but I wanted to show you this because I got it at the bins. Oh, now she's finding her rhythm. Can you say hi, Lou? Anyways, I love picking up um, little pet things at the bins because they're so lightweight. And even at TJ Maxx, these cost like $14. So in this style, I absolutely love. Okay, gotta get down now, Bubba. I picked up, I was on the fence about this. It's Hannah Anderson um, and it is a girl size 120, but I'm not sure about the style. It's really adorable um, for the right buyer. I don't know. When I think of kids, I think more cozy stuff, but it is Hannah. And if I decide that I don't want to list it on my own, I have a local consignment store for children that I work with. So I may just like bring this to them. And I could actually do the same with the Patriot sweatshirt, but I'm pretty confident that that will sell. That does really well. Um, this bag, this was sad to me. Um, so I saw this bag and I, I just looked at it like out of the corner of my eye. And I don't know, um, Tori Birch sells like a, like a vinyl-y bag like this. Um, that looks similar to this. So I saw it and I thought that's what it was. So then I picked it up and I'm like, no, this isn't Tory Burch. And to be honest, I don't know if I've been living under a rock, but the brand is Goyard, E. Goyard. Now Lulu scratch. So I'm standing by the bin and um, don't get excited. I'm like 99% sure it's fake. But if you know E. Goyard, am I saying that right? Um, this bag here, retails for approximately $1,500. It's like it's like Louis Vuitton prices. It's a Paris brand, um, but unfortunately, and the inside actually looks a lot like some of the bags that I saw, um, but there are two things that gave this away, and that is this very cheap sign right here, because if this were really good leather, I just don't think that wear would exist. Um, and nowhere on here does it say made in Paris, uh, but it's actually kind of a cute tote. So when I looked it up, I was sitting in the bins and I looked it up and I'm like, holy mother, $1,300 for this bag. So I'm just showing it. I decided to bring it home. I weighed it. It weighed 10 ounces. So from my bins, this cost approximately 86 cents. And I thought for 86 cents, it was worth sharing with you. If this is something you should ever come across and it be real, you would be, so, so you can see the E. Goyard right there written in. Um, 
But anyways, there's all sorts of posts about real versus fake, and this is definitely fake, but not a bad one, I guess. Um, and actually kind of a nice tote. It has like that, that coating that you can just wash right off. Um, if anyone thinks this is real and I'm sitting on $1,300, please do comment below and let me know. But I'm uh, just the fact that it doesn't say anywhere made in Paris, that was kind of the dead giveaway. And also um, this white, a lot of the ones that I saw that were online, and I'll, I'll post some right here because I did take a snapshot of a similar bag. Um, the thread was not white. It was like the same color as the band, but this was kind of the giveaway in the No Paris. But anyway, thought it was worth 86 cents to share with you. So I got that, but I won't be selling that, obviously. Um, I picked up this little um, bag that looked really cute in the bins, and then I washed it. And now since I washed it, it looks discolored. It looks like a little orangey here, but it was just like a little vintage clutch like a cotton like macrame look. I thought that was really cute to take out, but I'm gonna to try to wash it again. I think I messed up by washing it. But anyways, it was in really good condition too. It just kind of had that like mildewy smell that I didn't love, so I decided to wash it. I picked up this sweater at the bins. Um, I love to get wool sweaters, especially at the bins. And this one had a lot going for it. So I liked the little toggles. Um, I wish it was a little more oversized, but it's still really cute. It's got the cable knit. And it has a hood, which I thought was really cute. And it is, I believe, where are we here? It's 100% lamb's wool. That's what I was looking for if it was. Um, so yeah, it has lots of like mixed knits. So like this pattern is a little bit different than the cable knit. I thought it was really beautiful. It's Banana Republic. Oh, and the other thing I liked about it is that the sleeves bell out just slightly. And then it has more detail in the stitching here. I thought it was a really pretty piece. So... Banana Republic is not a brand that I typically pick up at the thrift stores, but if it's something if it's something like this, I probably would pick this up at the thrift because it's the lamb's wool and I really like the style of it. I love the hood. I love the toggle. Um, so yeah, I haven't comped it out yet, but probably like $35, $40. Um, the, the Irish knit wool sweaters tend to do pretty well for me. Um, so I'm excited about this haul because I did have a few new brands to introduce to you and that were new to me, like that, that bag. And then this brand, not a huge resale value on it, but this brand Quinn, has anybody ever heard of this? Um, this sweater was really pretty. It's like a mint and like a taupey color, a little bit of a high low hem, just like a very um, kind of an open neck, not quite boat neck, but open neck. Really beautiful. The retail on these, they almost remind me of like an Everlane style, like very simple um, classic patterns, like minimalist look. And uh, the retail on this stuff is like between $100 and $200. So I'm probably only gonna get $25 or $30, but the quality was beautiful. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, my friend at the bins, you've heard me talk about her before. Lauren. Um, she has limited space. So sometimes when we, I see her at the bins, she'll say, you know, do you want this? Last time she gave me a J. Crew dress. I don't know if you remember that. Today she gave me a, um, yesterday, she gave me this pretty, they almost look like little cherry blossoms. Um, it's a LuLaRoe cardigan, which I, I like the LuLaRoe cardigans, but the reason I decided to take this home with me was because it was the Caroline. It was new with tag. So you know, probably, and, and it had like a fun graphic on it. So if it's something interesting, if this was plain or um, if it wasn't new with tag, I probably would have left it behind, but because I liked the pattern, would photograph well, I think, and um, it was new with tag, it was a yes for me from the bins. So I brought that home with me. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, when I was at the bins, um, including um, I got a gift for a friend that I talk about in my, um, my thrift and gift video, um, including that and some of the things that I got for my kids, I spent like $46. So in my other video, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna release first, but um, I think I'm gonna release this first because the other one I'm giving Christmas gifts and on the rare chance that my kids may watch my video, which is like a one in a hundred chance, I don't wanna like show their Christmas gifts. So I figure if I release that closer to Christmas, the likelihood that they'll see it is, um, it's more likely that they won't see it. So anyway, this shirt I thought was really cool. Um, the brand is called Arctic Wear and it's just almost like this 
bowling, like bowling style shirt. This is very hipster, 50s vintage looking to me. And it's got this great graphic on the back, Arctic Cat, like brand new. And it's got like a little like fringed around the edges. I just thought this was really cool. And this brand actually seems to have a following. I've never heard of this. Um, it's it's uh, Arctic Cat Snowmobile, so I believe it's a, like a snowmobile brand, I'm guessing. But um, I'm probably gonna list this high, like 40 or $50. Uh, a lot of this style shirt, um, they did, did okay, like $30, but I didn't see anything with the stripes, anything with this huge graphic. Um, and I just thought this was really a unique piece. So I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this piece and it's very light. Um, I had started to say all in, I spent like $46. Um, so my average cost of goods on all the items that I'm showing you from the bins was $1.65. I mean, you just can't beat the bins. I freaking love that place. This is probably my find of the day and I had no idea what it was when I grabbed it. Um, I don't wear gloves and I feel like a little redundant. A lot of resellers say this, but I am in total agreement when I say don't wear gloves because I like to feel stuff. And this is a piece that's very unassuming that I would not have picked up if I was wearing gloves. Um, but I felt it and it just felt nice. It's like that Pima cotton feel, like that's super soft. And then I looked at the um, name and it was one of those things where I'm like, I feel like I've heard that before, but I honestly had no idea where I had heard it. But the fabric felt nice and the name was sparked like something in my memory bank, so I grabbed it. But the brand is Pete and Greta. And Pete and Greta is a line that is sold at Johnny Was. It's one of Johnny Was lines, which I would have never known because this is a dress. So it's silk in the back. And this is really pretty. So it kind of A-lines out with the silk in the back and you can tie right here to cinch the waist a little bit. And here's the front. I don't always, I, I sit like too close to the camera and then you don't see everything in its entirety. But this is, you know, it's probably like a knee length dress. It's more of like a lagging look, I would say. And this is not at all typical Johnny was. There's no embroidery on it. There's nothing about this that would have said Johnny was to me. So I was just going based off feeling. Um, and even with all that being said, this will probably generate maybe $50 if I'm lucky. Um, maybe 60, these comps were all over the place. Some of their, some similar dresses like this, um, sold resale um, on Poshmark for $80. I didn't see this dress specifically, so I'm not sure what this will go for, but it's really beautiful. And the front is just all these snaps, like a hundred snaps. And this is a size small, um, but a really unique piece. And I was super happy to find it at the bins and learn a new brand. I mean, a um, couple more things from the bins, and then I'm gonna shift gears and show you some of the things that I picked up at Savers. This I was um, another brand I'd never heard of before, but I grabbed it and it's really a nice piece. It does have a couple issues. I washed it yesterday. It's down. And I will say, um, even though it says dry clean only, I wash and dry down. So I don't know if that's terrible, but um, I found a Montclair Parker at the bins last I think I found it in March and it sold um, just a couple months ago for $225 on eBay. And it was filthy, like filthy, dirty, disgusting. And I took it home and, you know, used my Popeye muscles with my combo of baking soda, Dawn liquid and peroxide and make like a mixture. And I worked on that coat oh, like for hours. But anyways, and then I washed it and then I dried it, and then the down kind of puffs back. I did the same with this coat um, because this had some dirt in the front. I love the style of this coat. The quality is beautiful, and the brand, again, I've never heard of, is Holden, made in Portland, Oregon. Well, actually, it was made in China, but it says Holden, Portland, Oregon since um, 2002. There is the label. It's just, I love the neck on this. It's size small. So here's the issue. Um, there were there was some dirt down here and the buttons were dirty, um, but I really think that my treatment did a, a great job. I mean, I'll disclose that it may not be perfect just because it's a lighter color. However, um, the issue with this is the zipper. So the top zipper 
is missing its hook. It's just, um, it's just broken. So I don't, it's not like you can even tie a string in there. Like the metal part is just broken off. So when you zip it, you have to kind of attach it at the bottom and zip it up. The reason I picked it up because it was down and gorgeous and light and I wanted to learn about the brand, but also was because you can still snap it. So even if the zipper isn't working, again, so maybe this may have, if it were in perfect condition, brought me like maybe 50 or $60. Maybe now it's gonna be more like 30 or 40, um, but it's still a beautiful down coat in a really unique design. And it's actually, it's still functioning and maybe somebody could fix the zipper. I'm not gonna fix it. Um, however, I thought it was really nice with the color blocking, the high neck, and it's like a little A-line quilted. It's just beautiful. And did I say already that this was a size small? So Holden, another new brand. So many new brands yesterday. I was really happy. I don't know why I didn't share this, but I picked this up. I think I did a haul. I think I got this on my haul that I just recently showed and I didn't share this. It must've been in the wash or something, but this is a vintage um, Woolrich um, plaid blanket. So here's, I washed it and then I hung it out, um, but it had already been washed prior to me purchasing it. This was $6 and it was half off. So I paid $3 for this. Um, but clearly, you know, when you look when you look at the seam, you go like this. The um, the wool looks like it's a little shrunk and then like the, the blanket, the Sherpa part comes out. So it's not perfect. It looks like it was probably washed and then maybe dried a little bit. Um, so it doesn't line up, but I did not see any, um, any moth holes or anything. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so, I feel like it's on trend right now. Like I just love the colors of it. Um, I think we must have company. I, I actually don't know what the comps are. I'm thinking like $30, $40, but I'm actually not sure. It could be more, it could be less. Um, but I am excited to include this in my Poshmark closet and um, have this as part of my home goods section on um, in my closet because it's just something different. I don't have a lot of home goods. And I could also list it on eBay. I may do that too. I don't know if I've mentioned, but I had um, I had three returns on eBay out of like six sales. I had a really tough run for the week with eBay and I'm trying to just like chalk it up to experience and move forward. But one of them was a Buffalo plaid vintage Woolrich jacket that somebody thought was not authentic. I mean, something made in the 60s Woolrich. I don't think it was knocked off, but um, they weren't pleased with it. Um, I sold a pair of new with tag page jeans for $51, you know, $200 retail page isn't a big seller, but they were new with tag. They said the stitching on the side was defective and it was unflattering. So I had to take that back and eBay really frowns. I, I am a non return person on eBay. I don't take returns, but what I'm learning is that really doesn't matter to eBay. Like uh, they want to take things back and they really encourage you to take things back. And um, I, I mean, I don't know, if you're a big eBay person and you've had some experience with returns or if you have any tips for me, I'm trying to like not lose my spirit with eBay because I know it's a good platform, um, but I've, I've been pretty discouraged with it lately. But anyways, this is another thing I manifested. I'm telling you, it works. I think in my head that I want it. The only thing it hasn't worked for is Rothy's Antiques. I want to be in the Rothy's and Teaks Club. I haven't. A, I actually have a Teaks problem. I have them for myself, but I've never found them to sell, which I would love to. But um, I was saying, I, I thought I wanted a Barefoot Dreams sweater for Christmas, but every time I look at them or put them on, I, I don't feel like they're very flattering on me, but I keep thinking that I want one. So I'm like, well, maybe if I find one at the thrift today, maybe I'll keep that. Then I kept saying, I want a Barefoot Dreams. I want it. And I was like saying it over and over and, I found a Barefoot Dreams. I found, I have found Barefoot Dreams. I think this is my fourth time, third or fourth. I know for sure third, possibly my fourth. I found my first Barefoot Dreams at a yard sale. And then I found one at like a local honey hole that I go to and then this one. So this is the Barefoot Dreams um, Cozy Chic Ultra Light in a small medium. It's like an off-white color. And I would definitely say it's like, 
somebody probably wore this a lot like it's not as like thick as some of them but it's still barefoot dreams um i average between 55 and 65 dollars on my barefoot dream sales these retail for well over 100 so i am thinking that um this i'll probably get between 40 and 50 dollars it's just kind of a plain color it's not going to like pop as well when i photograph it but people who know the brand know the brand so i was so excited this was eight dollars with 20 percent off i was really happy about that um a couple more things and then i think i'm done with this haul this actually was a bins purchase so i'm backtracking a little bit it's heavy um, but I loved it and I've talked a little bit lately in my hauls about how I've been having some good luck with Eddie Bauer and um, I have just decided that when I see good Eddie Bauer pieces at the bins I am now picking it up. I think I've sold two Eddie Bauer pieces recently and um, it's just something that I think is I don't know if it's making a comeback or if just their old stuff is good but how awesome is this sweater? It's 100% cotton it's like that wonderful grandpa style sweater. Um, it was from the bins. This is like a teal that you're seeing. Oh no, it's like a hunter green and a navy next to each other. And this taupey design, just so classic. I'm gonna see if Ange will model this for me because I think the grandpa sweaters modeled look really good. Um, and it's cotton. So like, I feel like it's like a nice year round sweater. I absolutely love it. It's a men's size medium, 100% cotton. This is like the older Eddie Bauer label, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna price this probably around $45 and I'm very excited for it. I think it's going to be adorable on someone. And I do put all of my grandpa sweaters in the women's category. Um, I feel like that's where the trend is right now. Like this coat, which is really massive. Um, but this, I, will, I, I do have it currently listed in the women's section, and I say that it is like pro, likely a men's. Do you think that's a mistake? Would you list it in men's? I've asked this before, and it's kind of split down the middle, and some people were like, it's a men's jacket listed in the men's department. But then I feel like it's trendy for women, but I don't know, because here's my thought. I do list it with women. However, I feel like women are more likely to look in the men's section. If they do want this, then men are to look in the women's section. So if that's the case, maybe I should be listing in the men's department and then women would just look over there to purchase it. But anyways, I've had success listing them in the men, in the women's section. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So I'll probably stick with that. Um, I feel like I had one more thing. Is that it? Oh, one more thing. Okay, so last haul I had, um, I had picked up a um, Lewin Gray like safari type of vest, which I wouldn't call it the most fashionable piece, but the comps are pretty decent. And I paid like a dollar twenty five for it, so I am likely going to make my money back and then some. Sorry, I'm trying to zip this um, piece. So I've been checking out the vest section. Oh, another piece I meant to share that I didn't have in my haul. So two places that I like to visit in Savers that I feel like are pretty underrated and tend to at least this section, this is the vest section. The vest section can have some underrated vintage pieces or just like good brand names that sell for really cheap. Maybe because vests aren't super popular right now. I like vests. I like like jacket vests. I don't like sweater vests necessarily, but, um, and the luggage section. So if you go like to the back corner where they sell luggage, um, I have found a really, I found a really nice Athleta bag that flipped really quickly for over $50. And the last time I was at Savers, it was $12.99 and I think it was only 20% off. So I still paid up for it. Um, I paid about $10, but I found a really sought after Lululemon workout bag and I'll put a picture of it up here for you to see but I found that in the back section of the store in the luggage section so kind of an underrated section I encourage you to look at that I'm just looking see this part of my wall that is like we must have patched over some of the paint there and that's really annoying stain um anyways luggage vest so this I found in the vest section so this was one I looked this over. I don't know what you're gonna think of it style-wise. However, I saw this and I was like, oh, this kind of seems like decent quality. I thought the flap over here on the buttons, like how it was, um, it cuts up like this. I thought it was really nice quality, kind of like a tweed um, vibe to it. I do not believe, yes, it is a detachable hood. 
I'm like, this seems like a pretty decent quality. So I was looking and looking, there was no, okay, so it was $5.99 and then I had 20% off. And then I looked closely at the, um, there was no tag up here. So I looked at the buttons and I discovered that it was Escada Sport. So you probably can't see that, but they're like rose gold buttons or like coppery looking button looking buttons. And I thought that this was a great pickup for Escada. So I'm gonna try to sell it on my own. Um, I feel like I've had more luck selling Escada Sport than I have just straight up Escada. I probably should be sending my Escada pieces out. The one piece that I have in my closet right now is a sweater that is missing a button. Um, so I mended it a little bit, but I know they wouldn't accept it if I sent it to the Real Real or Thread Up. And I did sell an Escada Sport sweater, which was not my style at all. And it wasn't really current, but it sold in like a day or two for full price for $55. So I have some hope for this. I haven't done comps on it, but I'll probably list it around 40, 45 since it's Escada. Um, I don't think I'd list it for more than that unless I look and the comps are better. But anyways, that is it. That wraps up my final haul for the holidays. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know what your favorite piece was from today's haul. Um, I'm wishing everybody a beautiful Merry Christmas and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. And um, yeah, look forward to, I'm gonna try to get three videos out before Christmas. We'll see if that happens. And I'm not sure where this will be in the sequence, but um, I will talk to you all soon. Thanks so much and thanks again for watching.